centimeters, one new growth, some root attachment. So what we're trying to do is figure out whether we can restore a rare orchid by, uh, by, by cross-pollinating the known reproductive plants here in Fakahatchee, growing them from seed. When the small plants that we grew from seed are about two years old, we do what you see we've done. We tie them to the trees and then we monitor them yearly to see if they're growing, if they're not, have they died. And at some point we're going to tr publish the results of this. And this is close to cutting edge stuff. I don't think anyone has undertaken a native orchid restoration like this on this scale before. Well, back in uh, 2006, late 2006, Matt Richards from the Atlanta Botanical Gardens gave Dennis and I a phone call or an email. We got back together and he was offering his services and the expertise of the Atlanta Botanical Gardens to rear an endangered orchid species. So he wanted us to kind of choose one that we thought really could use the help. Uh, Dennis and I talked about it and we decided the cowhorn orchid or cigar orchid uh, is one of those rare species. It is listed as endangered on the state list of plants. And uh, we knew of only about 17 at that time, back in 2007. So we started learning about when they would bloom and then how, how to pollinate them. And we ended up creating one seed pod with our pollination attempt in 2008. And that pod developed in 2009. And that's the first one that went to Atlanta Botanical Garden. And then Matt started coming down in 2009 and they know how to pollinate the orchids much better. So a lot more seed pods were produced in 2010 and 11 and 12. So the project really took off once we got Matt Richards down here to do the pollination. Now we've planted about 600 plants out here, all from hand pollination of different flowers and from different plants. We've kind of created a stud book so that we know that each seed pod comes from what parents. You have to know that when you're doing these conservation projects because you want to try to preserve the genetic diversity of the population with as many specimens as possible. So far we have eight and I believe now nine uh, different plants represented in this population of over 600 young plants that we've now placed back out into the Fakahatchee Strand. This is a species that was really heavily collected in the early part of the 20th century by the wagon loads. And now we were down to something like 17. In the intervening years from 2007 on, we found a few more, we're up to 25. Wild. And we've also added about 600 of young ones. So that's what we're doing today, is coming out to a known site where we know we've planted somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 or 50, maybe 60 plants out here. Matt has them all on a map, so we're now going through and flagging all of them so we can go through and then assess their condition, their health. So each year we try to find as many as possible, but eventually we're going to end up with about a thousand young plants out here, and we'll probably stop at about a thousand. That way, even if our mortality is 50 percent, half of them die, we'll still have 500 young plants out here. We don't know how long it'll take for them to bloom, so that's another thing we're waiting for too. So we're assessing survival rate, and then we're hoping in a few years maybe the first one will bloom. So in the 1940s, we logged this swamp, and all the host trees, which were the cypress, we believe, um, were basically this orchid where we're restoring lost all its host species and then the, the forest structure changed now all the plants which you'll see later today occur on rotting cypress stumps you know from where they logged we're trying to get the plants back up into the trees so they can release seed into the wind and repopulate so we're doing this because man had a direct effect through logging and over collection of this species so here we have a chance to do something good that we've, or reverse what we've done basically. We're hoping that other people around the world will be able to learn from what we've done to repatriate or restore orchids that were wiped out from the wild or are very, very rare and need a helping hand to continue to persist in the wild. For us it's sort of an ethical thing. We're part of the species that wiped these orchids out or made them very rare we want part of our legacy to be that we protected them and we brought the ones back that we could.